Hey everyone, another video today. We're going to take a look at a certain type of nonverbal reasoning question called odd one out. Let's have a look. So with these types of question, you are given five shapes, A to E, just like normal, and it's your job to try and identify which shape is the odd one out. Now, there is a technique to this. It's important that your shape is the odd one out, but it's also important to remember that the other four shapes have to have something in common that is the same. So let's take a look at this question and see what I mean. Now, looking at these options, we can see we have a triangle to start with. Let's see if that could be the odd one out because it's a triangle. So we've got a triangle, we've got a square, we've got another triangle. So it can't be that the triangle is the odd one out. Could it be that it's a four sided shape? Well, no, because the next shape is also a rectangle. So we can see straight away that the odd one out can have nothing to do with the number of sides the shape has because we don't have one shape that's different to the other four. So let's move on and take another look. There's something to do with the line here inside of the shape. They all have a line, so it can't be the fact that there's one line or two. This one here comes across and it makes a triangle inside. Let's see what the others do. This one comes across, makes another triangle, so that's two the same. This one here comes across and makes a triangle, that's three the same. This is looking promising because remember we want four the same and one different. The next one doesn't make a triangle. Now it could be that this is the odd one out. If the final shape makes a triangle with the line across the shape, then we know we found our answer. Let's have a look. And it does. So E makes a triangle with the line going across. We have one, two, three, four small triangles inside of the shape. Therefore D is the odd one out. So let's take a look at another one. Remembering this logic, we need one shape that's different to the other four. And those four have to be the same in that respect. So let's have a look at A we're given a square and a pentagon. So we have a square and a pentagon. Okay, there's a line joining them up. And you can kind of see the head of this arrow here is inside of the pentagon. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Well, we have another square. Aha, uh -huh, let's have a look at that then. Do all of these shapes have a square? Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, so it's nothing to do with having a square. Let's look at the second shape. We have a pentagon, a triangle, a triangle, a triangle, Ah, and another pentagon. So unfortunately, that can't be the odd one out. We have two pentagons and three triangles. So we must keep looking for something else where just one is different to the other four. Now, it must be something, therefore, to do with the line. So let's have a look at the line and maybe where the head of the arrow is. The head of the arrow here is in the pentagon, which means we have a blunt end in the square. Aha, here we have the head of the arrow inside of the square. Let's keep going because these are different somehow. If we can find some similarities, we might have our odd one out already. The next one has the blunt end in the square. The next one has the blunt end in the square. And the final one also has a blunt end in the square. So we have four shapes here with the blunt end of the arrow in the square and one shape that's different. This must be our odd one out. One shape that's different, four that are the same somehow. We'd circle B and we move on. So here we have a third odd one out question. And what I want you to do is have a go yourself. So remember, you are looking for the odd one out. You need to be able to justify how the other four are the same and your shape is the only one that's different in that respect. So I'd like you to pause the video and have a go for yourself. Leave us a comment down below if you've got an answer and we'll go through it together in a minute. So hopefully you've got an answer now. We can have a look together and see how you did. We are given five shapes again. There are five circles, so it can't be anything to do with the circle. Each circle has a line, so it can't be anything to do with the line because they're all the same. Let's start having a look at what's different between these shapes. And I can see straight away that we have two black circles here, one white circle, one white circle, another white circle. So you might be thinking it must be A because the rest have white circles. However, E does not have a white circle. So we cannot say that A or E are the odd one out because they share that in common. They both have two black circles. Let's have another look. We have a triangle. We have a pentagon, a square. They're all different. A pentagon again and a square again. Aha, at this point you might think, well, A is the only shape with a triangle, but that's not enough. Just because it's the only shape with a triangle, doesn't mean it's the odd one out because the other four shapes 
don't have the same one between them. They have either a pentagon or a square. Remember, having four that are the same is just as important as having one that's different. So we can't justify that answer either. Let's take another look. There is a segment here. It makes a small segment and we have a black circle inside of that segment. Let's look at the next one. Aha, a white circle inside of that segment. So one of these could be the odd one out. Let's check the rest. C has a black circle in the segment. D has a black circle in the segment and E has a black circle in the segment and it should have clicked by now hopefully that B must be the correct answer because B has a white circle in the segment and every other shape has a black circle in the segment. B is the odd one out, circle it and move on. Hopefully that came in handy. Remember, when doing odd one out questions, you need four shapes that are the same somehow and one that's different. Try and apply that logic to when you're doing your own practice at home and we'll see you again next time for more Kent test videos.